What you're looking at is a hologram of the great late Kobe Bryant. This hologram was made in his likeness and his image about a year before his untimely passing. Now I'm using the great Kobe Bryant's likeness and image in holographic form to set the stage regarding holographic technology and where we are heading with this particular technology. Now, if you've been living under a rock, if you don't know what a hologram is, let me quickly explain it to you guys. A hologram is a picture of a whole object showing it in three dimensions. We've all seen cheap hologram images on credit cards and ID cards where they help to prevent copying. Far more impressive are large holograms that take the form of a ghostly 3D moving figure that you can walk around to see from all angles. Holograms were invented in 1947, but only perfected after the invention of the laser in 1960. Today though, they are used in such technologies as compact disc players and checkout scanners and holograms can be created in the inside of live internal organs to permit doctors to examine the organs in great detail. And soon, televisions with hologram technology may enable us to watch in 3D. Now, I've said time and time and time again that the nature of reality is holographic. And I've also said that the matrix uses technology to mimic or copy the natural world or the cosmic world. So when we look at this technology that will certainly evolve, but I see it's yet again the matrix mimicking characteristics and potentials and capabilities and realities that is natural to us but yet most of us are still detached from it for instance they will eventually have holograms where by we will be able to project a living being who's still living on earth in a physical body project them say for instance to do a concert in another country or to teach a class in a classroom or to give a lecture in another country or another city or within the same city for whatever reason to project a hologram in multiple places and these holograms they're going to perfect them to the point where you will not be able to tell by looking at them that that is a holographic projection we are also going to see these holograms where we're looking at people FaceTiming on the phones. The technology will come sooner than later, whereby we will be interfacing with people on the phone in 3D, meaning the phone will project a 3D image of whoever we're talking to. And we will see them as if they are in our immediate space. So artificially, this will be the equivalent of astral projection now stick with me because i'm leading up to something so we now know they're starting with these celebrities and as they've always done in the matrix they use celebrities as a means to get us on board with something to influence our perception they they use celebrities to set trends to normalize things so naturally to get us comfortable with the holographic future they're using celebrities because let's face it a lot of humans have a borderline sick obsession with celebrities they are used to usher in an agenda or plan or new way of thinking or being all right so setting that as a president now I've been showing you guys or trying to get you guys to connect the dots with contracts and agreements. And when celebrities sign contracts and agreements, more than likely in that contract, there is a clause whereby they are signing over their likeness and image in life and in death. So here we not only open up the promotion and the 
pushing of celebrities in a holographic manner to satisfy humanity's obsession with celebrityism or celebrity dumb. But we also have it where now the people who sign these stars have a vested interest in their living and in their death. We know for a fact when a celebrity is no longer cooperative or controllable or when they are no longer selling hit records or making hit records or they're no longer making their masters or their controllers a lot of money, they end up making them a lot of money in death. So don't be surprised when we see a celebrity made into something larger than life someone who's having a cultural impact and suddenly they conveniently die of suicide or a drive-by or whatever and so those who own their likeness will continue to benefit off of that you see so from that perspective when I look at holograms, I look at the matrix artificially mirroring the afterlife. When we uh, pass on and we earned our perfect light body, the perfect light body looks like a highly crafted holographic projection, but it is very real because the soul and the consciousness is one with that perfect light body, whereby with the technology, everything will be artificially ran and controlled. Perfect light bodies can appear and disappear. We can think and have and wear and look however we want, just like they show us in the technological holograms that they created after celebrities who have passed on. You see? So be prepared. We're going to see an explosion in holographic technology and they're going to perfect it to the point where like i said we will not be able to tell a real hologram versus a real person or thing now i wrote a blog about having an astral travel experience to a starship and being showing me how they use holographic technology now their holographic technology is so advanced that even when you touch it you couldn't tell the difference between it and something real on earth that's how advanced the technology that higher much highly evolved beings have already or already using and they project them in our reality all the time and many of us would have a clue if you are interested in reading that blog by all means check out the description box all of this holographic technology is evolving to a point where a 5g would be absolutely necessary and 5g really is a technological replica or an idea or concept of the fifth dimension and to have all of this technology and all of these capabilities and all these powers in place they need 5g to be in full bloom i'm going to talk more about 5g in my next video but i'm just sharing this one because again the last few videos let's see i, I think i've done about eight videos they're all connected to where I'm ultimately going, and that is 5G. So if you have not seen my six or seven other, eight other videos, by all means, go look at each of those videos and you will see where I'm showing you guys, I'm connecting dots and I'm also sparking thought within so that you can draw the conclusion and exercise discernment and critical thinking as I share bits and pieces of this tapestry with you. It's definitely building up to a much grander story. All right, again, if you would like to read my blog about an experience that I had with a highly advanced group on a starship and how they use holographic technology, by all means, look in my video description and there you can check it out. I'm back again.